Uh, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us. This is Y254 TV, your number one youth station. Right here, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website, and that's at www kbc.co.ke forward slash y254. My name is Ram Aguko and this is Power Talk. It's a pleasure being with you and uh, I want to say happy new month. It is the 1st of September, a very, very powerful month. And uh, for those like us, it is our birthday month. So we, 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 we really celebrate this month of September right here on uh, Power Talk. And of course, we value your feedback and we welcome you to be part of this morning show. And uh, today we want to talk about matters concerning your relationship. And um, I, even as we talk about this to empower you on, 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 on what to do, I believe that you will be able to get tips on, uh, on, on how best to handle your own issues. Today, let's talk about how you can salvage salvage your relationship how can you save your relationship when you get a, to a hurdle is it possible for you to come to and get a solution in order to save yourself from a breakup what can you do to save your relationship are you struggling tell us what you think about this because this conversation is for you. How best can you be able to sell, salvage your relationship? Today, let's talk about this. I am with Eric Njoroge. He is a medical cl medical claims analyst and a wildlife enthusiast. Karibu sana, Eric. Asante sana. Niko salama. Niko salama. Ebu ni ambi mamba medical claim enthusiast na wildlife. Medical claim analyst, wildlife enthusiast. You know who you are? Those are two different fields, actually. Uh, uh. Medical is my formal job. I work uh, in a medical department of a certain insurance, so I deal with the claims, medical uh -huh. claims. Uh -huh. Now about the wildlife, that is now my passion. Uh. I actually believe all the wild animals in this world belong to me. <laughs> okay. I love, I love, I love. You, lo you love wildlife? I do. Um, Absolutely. So, so I, 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 um, you know, animals being taken to the zoo, do you, do, do you like that? Animals being given um, some form of treatment that is... No, like not that. really, like but, uh, but it is still depends because if an animal is sick uh, or a small okay. child that is a small, a young calf that is often, that one you okay. can, but okay. not, not really. I think they, be, they should be free just as humans as we are free. They should be free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. Karibu, karibu. Asana, asana. Asana. Yeah. And of course, I, I, I welcome uh, uh, you from wherever you're watching us from. We value your feedback. Engage with us. The hashtag as always is Power Talk Show. Tag me at Ramaguko. That is my handle. The official station handle is at Y254 channel. And uh, of course, uh, make sure that you let us know where you are watching us from. Give us your thoughts in regards to this. Can our relationship be salvaged right here on Power Talk? Talk to us. Power Talk starts now. And of course, later on, I shall be with Cheryl Blessing, who shall be joining us in a bit to help us in this discussion because we also need a feminine voice. Sure, sure. Do. sure yeah. do. Yeah. Cheryl Blessing will be joining us in a bit. Mm -hmm. But let's kick start this show. Uh, Eric. Yes. Um, I don't know if, uh, if, if, if you've been in a position where you've uh, broken up with somebody and uh, unataka rudi. Marakala. <laughs> Marakala. <laughs> Marakala. What do you do to solve the situation? Well, I would start uh, by saying that if a relationship is to end, mm. if it has to end, no matter what you do, it will have to come to an end. Mm. But also I believe that if the two people involved in that relationship are sure mm. and are committed to keep it working, I am sure that uh, it can also survive, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, you know, it, it also depends, I believe it also depends with why the relationship is ending. Is it a reason that you can go around or is it something that is a, a block, a dead end? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, so, I so, so the reason why you broke up can make you say that uh, uh, I want to go back or I don't want to go back? Yes, yes it, it's sure because mm. there, there are some things that Ram Water you cannot take. If you cannot take something from, other, from a person, then I'm sure you cannot go back. But if it's something that you can go around the two of you, I think it is something that uh, you can try. You can, you can, if you're committed and mm. it's something that you can go around. Mm. Because some things people do, you cannot just go back. It is, it, it is, it is, it is what, done. Uh, what did you do when uh, you wanted to go back, to you, uh, go back together with, uh, with, with your girl or no. girls? 
sio kwa lapi <laughs> well, it is normal. It is normal. It is part of growing. I <laughs> believe. Eh? It's part of growing before you settle, you have to, you know, maneuver, <laughs> learn, <laughs> learn here, learn there, yeah. get hurt, hurt someone. Uh, basically, what uh, in, 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 in what I tried to do is where, wherever I was wrong, mm. because I've also been wrong, mm -hmm. you know, you just try to apologize. I will change. Try, try, and so I'm sure you'll change, yeah. you know. Uh, <laughs> you change? Try and see if you can get another chance. Well, those I changed, they continued. Those I was unable to change, that was the end. Ah. It is normal. It is life. It is what it is. So, 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 so uh, uh, <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me get it from you. So, um, what if it is the lady that offended you? It also depends. What did yeah. she do? Yeah. There are some things that Trump, even yourself, you cannot take. There's something that you cannot even, there's something that you cannot even go over. There's something that you cannot even go over, you see. Uh, there are some things, if, you, if it is something that you can, you can forgive and move on with life, then that's it. But if it's something that, uh, mm. you know, you are, you, are, you are different, that according to you, you cannot, there's someone who cannot take, for example, being cheated on. Mm. There are others who can say, well, uh, it was a one time of thing, maybe uh, something just happened and you can proceed. Mm. So it also depends with whatever the lady did. In the times you've broken up with your, with your, with your girl, because I know dating people date different uh, people. Yes, yes. The time that you've broken up, are there instances that you broke up because of the lady? Yeah. yeah. Ultaka Kurudiana nae. I was done. <laughs> <laughs> I was done. You were done. I was done. Man, I was done, man. I think men are hard to uh, convince, especially when it is a lady that has made a mistake. Like in come on, come on, no matter what I'm saying, I take a risk and I take a come on, you see, I take a But there's just something I think it, in a kujaga appear with the ego of a man, yeah. because there's something you know we are we are so hard to forgive, but we want to be forgiven. I think you're not here to talk about that. Apo ni paluko. I think something. You, you are, it is so hard for me to forgive, but I want yeah. to be forgiven. I think, be forgiven. I think a, a lot of people see that it is a bit open. So there's so, something that she did, hmm. I did not forgive. But I'm sure if I was the one who did, I would mm -hmm. want to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. now, now, do you think um, that it is possible mm -hmm. for men mm -hmm. to change this kind of narrative where um, you would say that, okay, it is hard for me to forgive, mm -hmm. but I want to be forgiven. Do you think that in order to change up? Uh, I think we should. I think we can. But now the only problem we have is that matters of this relationship are extremely personal. <laughs> you see, the mm. way me I can respond to, to, to an issue is not the way you can respond. So I think that is what makes it so hard to change such a narrative. But I think with time maybe we can, but I think it's, it's quite hard because it's all about personal. Mm. Mm, mm. Yeah. It's, it's a personal, it's, it's quite a personal, a personal, personal affair. But, huh? You know, I think with the... Westernized because I think when you understand it is very common in the western in the western countries. So it is with time, with time we shall but in Africa as of now. Uh, what if it's a lady that is coming to you? The lady is coming to her, going on her knees and saying, Please, Eric, I beg you, mm -hmm. take me back mm -hmm. to salvage the relationship, will you? Whatever she did is the main point, is, is the basic point. But there are some She's men. on her knees, Anasema, I beg you, Eric. It does not matter. Um, we as men, we know there are some <laughs> things that will just be clicking in your head. And even if you are 100, you just go back to zero. If anyone begs you, you will not accept uh, it. Is still, it is still goes back to whatever you did. Because there are some men who will accept the lady, but they will accept her back just to take advantage. Mm. But my heart, my heart, my feelings, everything is not there. It depends. Maybe whatever I cannot take, maybe you can take. Whatever you can take, maybe I cannot take. Mm. So does na, na akuna, either you go back, then she repeats the same pro, the same issue. Now you are completely broken. The men, like I said, cannot take cheating. Even uh, the thought of it. Even uh, can you? Okay, can you go back to a woman on bended knee to say I'm sorry? To save the relationship. Uh, I'm sure I would. Why lie? <laughs> I would. would. Have you ever? 
no 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 I would, but so far, man. <laughs> well, you are the one who made the mistake. Mm -hmm. You are the one who brought the problem. You are the one who brought the breakup. Yeah, uh, sure, but you'd go on bend and Yeah, if if I really needed uh, that relationship, I am sure to swallow my pride. But so far, you are kuenda mtu kwa magoti bado. Bado. Mm -mm, ah, bado. It is hard. Hi. <laughs> it's, it, it's not it's not that easy. Ah, see when I'm doing a simp, you you are simp guy, you're just simping here. There are so many people who started me, there are so there are so many ladies out here, but uh, mm. it is personal at the end of the day. I have seen men going on their knees and I cannot even judge them. I don't mm. know what that relationship meant to them. Mm. So I I cannot judge anybody. I cannot judge a man who, who is going on in his knees, trying to, to 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 please the woman, take her on numerous dates, do whatever you have to do. If it was that important to you, mm. I would not personally judge anybody. Mm. So far, for me, I have not got gotten to that to that to that level. But if I saw or I found my friend doing that, yeah. I, I, I would not judge. I don't know what it, I don't know what it means to to to, to, to him. You tell me, I don't. You don't know. I don't know. I would maybe, maybe <laughs> just, just, but I would not literally judge. You know, you can try to put some sense, but uh, I huh. don't think I would. I don't think I would really judge. You wouldn't. Ah, no, no. Hey, people, people have issues out here. Hmm. Ah, people have issues out here. <laughs> um. So let, let let me get it from you, Eric. Yes. Uh, I love the fact that you're saying that you wouldn't judge. No, I would, I would not. If a man comes to you. Yes. And asks you, what should I do to salvage my relationship as a man? Mm -hmm. Let's talk to the men. Yes. What should men do to save their own relationships? Mm -hmm. Just a few tips to someone who is watching you today. No, what I think uh, that, is, that should be obvious, I think, or I want to believe that should be obvious, mm -hmm. is uh, mm. uh, one thing about men, especially as Africans, mm -hmm. We do not take liability even of mistakes we have made that are as clear as the day. Mm. So I think one of the things that we can do is learn to be apologetic, learn to think about the other person, learn about to uh, understand and take it that even the ladies also have feelings. Mm. So I think one of the basics that is that when you are wrong, also apologize. Yes. When you're wrong, apologize. Yes, yeah, so that I think would, would be one of the one of the cases. I know, and you and, do it. And that's a place where men find that is where. Upon the machine. Upon the oka ego can achieve the sasa kama ye. How is it pick a magot? Maybe you're better magot in the shangaza. Madema ko engi. That day was pick a magot ya pan. Madema ko engi. That that is what that is the narrative anyway. That's why I need to come back to judge because I don't know. Even if Madema ko engi, I don't know what that particular meant to you. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me now. Now, if, if, even as 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 we continue, remember from wherever you are watching us from, engage with us. Um, sure. We value your feedback. Let us know where you're watching us from. Tell us what you think about this. Do you agree with what Eric is saying? Do you feel we need to challenge some of, of, of these notions and mm -hmm. belief systems? Tell us what you think about this. The hashtag is Power Talk Show. Tag me at Ramaguko at Y254 Channel is the official station handle. And of course, head over to Twitter and, uh, t uh, and of course, uh, drop in your comments there too. Go to Facebook, like the page, follow and uh, uh, drop in your comments. Let us know where you're watching us from. And of course, I had mentioned earlier on that Cheryl Blessing will be joining us today. I'm a fika hapa pekenyewe. How are you doing, Cheryl? <laughs> 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 and, and one thing that I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying even if it comes to to going on 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 on, on the knee, ata kama dem ame ame piga magoti haizi kubali. Nimeske pek sema madem ni wengi. Ati madem ni wengi. Madem ni and 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 at the samati wako wengi ko a fish. Bari bari. Akwendi kuliko hata the predators out there. Mwazi, yani hii na Europe. That is a common narrative. Shere, can you go on bend the knee just to save your relationship? Well, that's tricky. I don't, I don't think I can. At least you agree. You cannot take it. On my knees. Yes. 
Mr. Ma, you're saying, Eric, I beg you, please come back to me. We belong together. You are my first and only love. You are my one true love. Mm -hmm. Eric, I beg you. Can you? I don't think so. Because what am I getting from this relationship? That I have to go on my bended knees to beg to be taken back. And, and, and if a man goes on his knees to take you back, would you accept it? It depends on what happened to cause the breakup. If there's some situations, like maybe if he's abusive, maybe he's cheating, some extreme situations, then there's no way, even if you call my people, <laughs> even if you go to our place, mm. there's no way. But then there's some petty issues that probably, if you do that, I'd see that it may be coming from a genuine place. So I'd consider it. So is it okay for a man to kneel before a woman? Yes, you have to kneel to ask her to marry you. Is it okay for a woman to kneel before a man? Depends on the culture. Eric, do you to Uh not really because kama nimemkosea ama kama amekosea na she needs the 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 whole thing na maybe it is a petty issue as she said that she she should kneel and ask for for forgiveness or something but you've just said you wouldn't take her back even if she it depends i don't think it still it depends still it depends because there are things that you can do then it 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 does not make sense actually even kneeling will make even me more frustrated and even angry cuz why you did something so, make it even you did something so bad uh. then you come back dealing actually it will even make i, I, I wish even not to see you talk up and i'm saying na ni bomo man say now i uh, uh, now i want us to to, to, to go deeper shell thanks so much for for taking time to join us on short notice as i understand uh, thank you so much i apologize for coming in late no you're good you're yeah. good you're good oh kosa good to saw men always lead senior he said yes <laughs> so i say yeah najua hapo nimechokoza mtu ram 2022 hapo nimechokoza mtu now quit. i want us to get um into the nitty gritties of this particular issue can a relationship be salvaged let's talk about cheating Mm. When someone cheats in your relationship, can you salvage it? Share it. Hmm. Cheating is so it goes so deep mm. because you as the recipient of whatever happened first it will torment you and you'll keep wondering why did it happen? What did I do wrong? Mm. Where did the miss come in? Or what was this person offering that I wasn't? So I think cheating uh, cheating is tricky because why did you cheat first of all is this a serial cheater have they done it so many times before mm. was it a one time thing what caused the cheating mm -hmm. so I think when you ask all those questions and you find that maybe a situation was unintentional because the truth is there are situations where mm. it happens and the person did not premeditate cheating or that was not in their intentions so situations like that you might consider listening and also the reaction of someone afterwards but so then when 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 it was not premeditated mm, when he did not plan it mm -hmm. you might consider that depending on the events that happened prior okay. to it because okay. in my belief men are attracted to physical appearance so maybe you are out with your boys you're drinking you're having fun someone comes in and they try cuz women when women want a guy they most probably will get a guy so maybe someone tried and tried and tried and they got you in a position where you're vulnerable and maybe you slipped up mm. situations can be considered but then generally mm -hmm. i think cheating is cheating is one of those cardinal sins <laughs> in relationships now, so 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 we are saying cheating has levels. Yeah, right? there are people who are just serial cheaters, like it's just in them. And then there are people who are loyal and a situation happened. Happened. Ah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So let's take both scenarios. Mm -hmm. 
Can a relationship be salvaged in either of the scenarios? I think if someone is a serial cheater, if it happens often, mm. that cannot be salvaged. Because if they keep going outside knowing that it affects you uh -huh. and they do nothing at all to stop it, mm. then they do not care for you. They so do not treat now, you. Now, in the case where someone was just, uh, has always been faithful and one day yeah. just things happen and, uh, <laughs> and uh, they cheated on you, uh, that, can, that one can't be salvaged. I think to some degree it can be. It can be. Yes. Eric. Yes. There is no, according to me and to many men, I know they're out there, they will back me up. There are no labels. If a lady cheats, my friend. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> you know the problem with cheating, right? There, there are no levels of cheating. No, no. Is cheating is cheating. <laughs> there are, you know the problem with cheating? It breaks one of the most, uh, one of the, the, the strongest pillars of that country. That is trust. Yes. Cheating okay. goes straight to trust. And now the ladies are not like men, as she said. We, we, we see, I can see a, a beautiful girl and, I, and, I'll, and, and I'll go and try. And maybe she'll give in. But I believe before a lady goes ahead and cheats with another person, it is not a one-time thing. It is something she has thought about. Mm. It is something she has fought within herself. Even a man? Maybe even more. It no, I'm, I'm saying, what if it's some, in, in the case of a man? A man or, uh, the, the man that cheated. Sure. Sorry, Sierra, uh, he, he also thought of, thought of it before. Uh, men, men most probably. As she said, I can go out with my boys and in the club I see a hot, a hot girl and I approach. However, whichever way, she accepts. <laughs> but that's that? premeditated. Because uh. if, if you see a girl at the club and you think, I'd like to hit on her. It is not premeditated. It, it is. is. I've, I've found it. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try. Mm. I'm just no. going to try my luck. If uh. Why are you trying your luck when you're committed to someone mm. else? You know, as men, as you said, we, we see. Let, let's, mm. let, uh, I'm, I'm told that they're checking your mic. And uh, as you quickly do that, okay. uh, as I do that, uh, Sherry, let me, yes. let, let me ask you this. And then we'll come back to that aspect. Yeah. In the case where a man cheats on you, mm -hmm. and then he apologizes and says, "I'm sorry," and uh, and 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 uh, you accept him mm -hmm. because you love him, yes. and then you decide to 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 move forward with that particular relationship again, mm -hmm. and 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 it becomes problematic because every time you you check his phone, it's with the same same lady that he once cheated on you with, yes. what do you do? You live. It's that simple. Because if a guy cheated on you with one specific person, mm. and they keep in touch even after you found out and you talked about it and you expressed how it affected you, that guy is interested in that lady and he does not care how you feel or how it affects you. You just leave. Don't leave me. Let I me tell you, that's manipulation, first of all. I believe when someone constantly says, maybe if, if I make a mistake and we are together, if I make a mistake and I consciously know that it's going to affect you, and I know if I say I love you, I want this, I will change, you're going to stay, and I do that over and over again while still making the mistake that I know is affecting you, that is manipulation. You do not stay where you do not feel appreciated. If someone is keeping in touch with someone who they've had a sexual relationship with and you expressed that you're uncomfortable with this, you do not want this to go on, and they said they'd change, but then they maintained the communication, mm. then go, leave, run mm. as fast as you can mm. from that relationship because it will never end. That's you, the you truth. You cannot salvage it. You cannot salvage it because... What happened to love? What happened to... No, let me tell you, love is just one factor in a relationship. There are so many things. And you yourself know what you bring to the table. You value yourself as a human being. And if you feel like this guy does not see the same in you, or he's interested in someone else who's probably offering him something different, mm. let him go and explore that. Mm. That is my thought. Eric? Yes. Your thought on the same? Huh? Mm, you're talking about... Uh, uh, now, uh, actually, for your case, let's, let's, let's reverse it. Uh -huh. It's a lady now. Mm -hmm. for, he, for her case, it was a man. Mm -hmm. For you, it was a lady. Yes. A lady once cheated on you with some guy, mm -hmm. and then by that, you still find her talking to the same, same guy. I think that will break you as a man. 
that one will completely break you as a man. And that is why I said, for, for example, for my case and many other people I know, mm -hmm. if a lady cheats, that is the end. Don't wait for the second blow, the third blow, the fourth blow. Can, can, and, 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 and I don't know if we have men outside there who have been cheated on. I've, I've not got experienced that, though. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> me too. I think I'm lucky, me too, either. You have not, uh, uh, not uh, experienced not that. that. Yeah. Or maybe I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't find out. <laughs> or, or, or you didn't find out. Or maybe I didn't find out. You know, you can never say that. Maybe there was someone who ah, never found that. out. Timothy was telling me about the idea. These people, why? Where did you are? It is possible someone possibly managed. You never found out. But uh, as far as I know for my case, I have never. Timothy, you must have They do it and they do it so ah, this, this, this slick. Ah, so cheating, you're saying, can never be salvaged. Once someone has cheated on you, you move on. No, because as I was saying before, before the mic got an issue, mm. ladies, most of the time they 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 take more time. They take they they take a lot. They invest themselves a lot before making a decision mm. that I have a man, but I will go out and do something else with another man. It is as, sh even if you can say that men have premeditated, sometimes men we cheat by chance. Just a chance came up, you are not even planned anywhere. Do you know even <laughs> men can, men, men even cheat with, you can cheat with someone and don't even know her name. You'll come to find out her name later. Mm. But hey. for the ladies, hey, it, it happens. Hey. It happens. He's an expert. No, no. I know these things. <laughs> I, I, I talk to people. Uh, no, not myself. Uh, I'm a very good person. I'm a very you good would understand. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, it, it happens. You yeah. go with, 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 with your boys in the club, you, you don't even know. In the morning, he's telling you, by the way, I went with someone, I don't even know. I, I can't even remember what you mean. It happened. You but for a lady, you 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 even by the way, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something, Ram. Hmm? Even, if a man, you. even if a man is drunk, yeah. now he spots an opportunity. Ah. Just hey. trying to be honest. But let me ask, yes. if you're saying it in that situation, then is that not premeditated? If uh, we mwenyewe Eric, umeka uh, hivi na boys wako, uh, unezo kona dem, uh, pakata text. Uh, you, you're you're the, talking you actually. You believe it's premeditated? Yeah, but then let me let me tell you. Uh, in that situation that I've given, uh, you spot someone walking in. Uh, She's looking fine, uh, yes. Uh, all that. Uh, you knew going into your relationship that uh, there are other women. Strong. There are more attractive women than strong. your woman. Yeah. If you sit in that club knowing that you have a girlfriend or a wife mm -hmm. and then you spot someone, I love you tell your boys, hey, you're Malisi Misafi. Misafi, let me try mm -hmm. get that. Mm -hmm. Is that not primitive? <coughs> You've thought about it before going to that situation. Okay. Knowing that mm -hmm. if anything happens, mm -hmm. you will be cheating. Okay, to start with, uh, yeah. I don't want to be to, to, to get it wrong. I'm not trying to justify that, that men cheating is, is, is a good thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is not. It, is not. it, it happens, but that does that does not mean it is the right thing. No, it is. Well, uh, <laughs> it is not the right thing. I, yeah. All I'm saying is that the levels that men and women invest yeah. in before they they cheat, ah. it yeah. is very different. For me, it can take uh, just the fact that I have seen. I didn't even know she's coming. I didn't even know. But for, for the lady, she will have thought. Most of them, she will have thought about it yeah. once, twice. Is it the right thing? Is it not the right thing? And most of the time, you find they even have invested their emotions. That is why by the time the, the lady is cheating, she, she herself is gone. Now, let's, l l now, let's conclude on the cheating part and, and then you move on to something else. But in conclusion... For someone who has really invested in their relationship and they get cheated on, what do they do? Eric. They break. They break. Even after investing. They break. Mm -hmm. Actually, the, invest, the investing part is what makes you break. Because the more you invest in something, mm. the more the disappointment if it oh. comes to failure. All right. Uh -huh. yeah. Sherry, what do you do? After investing so much in the relationship, you get cheated on. Should you salvage it? I think you should ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth being salvaged? 
study the situation, know your partner, you know what happened, find all the facts, and then ask yourself, is it worth it? If the answer is yes, try and salvage it. Because <coughs> mm. trust will take time to rebuild, mm -hmm. but you can rebuild it. No, so, I, yeah, mm. that's my opinion. Okay, now, okay. All right. Let's move on to something else. Money. And someone may wonder, how is money coming up when, when you're talking about salvaging relationships? Now, this is the scenario that I want to paint because I know somebody is going through that. Sure. Mm -hmm. You're in a relationship where this guy never shares his financial um, or, or his assets with you. Kama ni mambaya pesa, hakutumi shopping, hakutumi rent, he doesn't take you out. And he is what I want to call a stingy man from the Stingy Men Association. <laughs> He's a member. <laughs> when money becomes an issue in a relationship, can that relationship be salvaged? What I'm concerned about your pesa. The guy doesn't share money. Or it is a woman. Who doesn't share money when the guy is, is low? Mm. Share it. I think you should leave. And I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I don't think hey, it's guys, can be salvaged. Wait. Hold the tea. <laughs> <laughs> you said when someone cheats on you, you can stay. <laughs> but when someone doesn't give you money, you should leave. Let hey. me tell you one thing. Men are turned on financially. If a man loves you and genuinely cares for you, they will spend money on you because they want you to look good they want you to dress good they want you to go to good places so if a man doesn't do that they don't really care for you because you're not turning them on financially or perhaps it's the way you carry yourself <laughs> <laughs> so uh -uh, just uh, go uh, 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 <laughs> just go just go because even the stingiest men will spend money on their women it depends on how much they care or what you've shown them or the standard you've even set in the relationship Nairobi. if out to me with pesa Nairobi. just go Nairobi. <laughs> hey, Nairobi. Uh. Hey. yes <coughs> i somehow agree with her because i know uh, as a man if you love a woman you ought to spend okay yes. but now the problem comes when she's pressuring you to spend something that you cannot afford now that is another thing but I believe every man, despite the levels of your financial capability, I mm. think you, you should try, you know. You feel good when, 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 when she's also happy. She's, she's, mm. But now, the problem yeah. comes when she wants more. She has like, I'm not like a person, you know, look at how she is. Any person you want someone must have really done a lot of work here. So, so, you have a Who? Who? Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't know. Maybe. It is you. Could be. <laughs> Could, could not be. Could be. Could <laughs> not be. <laughs> yeah, sure. We don't know. But the, guy, right. but the lady <clears throat> wants manicure. An attacker, pedicure. Uh -huh. An attacker, saloon. An attacker, <clears throat> wig. And I recently learned that mm -hmm. wigs cost even up to 100,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. Yes. My goodness. I, I <laughs> have to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my, the issue is, uh? I think... Um, Almost every lady wants that. Uh -huh. But the problem is, me as your guy, can I afford everything that you want? When you cannot afford <coughs> it and mm -hmm. she demands for it, should she leave you or just help the relationship and be with you? How? I don't think, they don't see any way that she can help save it because if she's demanding mm. and I don't have, mm. even if she stays, it means she will be getting it from somewhere else. She'll be cheating on you. And then that's where the cheating, <laughs> we go back to the cheating thing. Yeah. Because if she's demanding, and where I am at, as, as at now, I cannot afford, then she'll go to get it from somewhere else. And that is the problem, actually, yeah. with social media these days. Yeah. She wants something she's seen with, that, with a friend from I don't know where, as you, she was taken to where. Your guy cannot afford. But you want it. So what do you do? You look for uh, someone, Wakando, who can, who can afford. Okay. All right. L l l l still, still on you, Eric, and then I'll come to you. Yes. When it comes to issue of Mamba Pesa Tobado, <coughs> there is a guy that has been conned by the girlfriend. I'm a Koniwa. Mm -hmm. I so think, sad. I think, I think one what thing... What happened? That is, <laughs> uh, 
if you are conned, my friend, I think the best <laughs> thing, <laughs> the best thing is to leave or take out to the police. That is a criminal. That is not a lover. And Why are you conning? Why are you conning your guy? I, I just needed money. I See? just needed money, but I, it doesn't mean I don't love you. I still love you. But I, can you, you work out that relationship? If you love someone, I don't see how you can con that person that you love. Mm. Because you know that if you con someone, it's going to hurt him or her. For this case, him. Mm. So if I cannot afford, then you go ahead and, and con. I don't know even what you are conning because I cannot afford. But even if you find your own ways of conning. These ladies find ways of conning. And I come to Matanga. They are quite, they are quite, uh, they, they, they quite uh, cook up things, I know. Yeah, they, they can. Mm. It's true. But if you okay. found out that you have been conned, I think, for my case, Mm. It is a red flag, actually. You, you see these things we are calling red flag. Because mm. come uh, on, na ukona elfu kumi. What about ilia siku utapata 10 million? Cheryl? Um, okay, I agree with the part that he said about if a lady is demanding. Because mm. you, you see the way he said, if you like someone, even if you don't have much, you can give her what you have or what you can afford. You'll say, I can't afford your hair and nails, so I'll take care of your hair. The next time I'll take care of your nails. Oh, you so see? you have a negotiation. Yeah, if someone does that, then okay, it can be salvaged. Because mm. I don't think you should put pressure on someone to give you something unless you can provide yourself with the same things. Mm -hmm. And if you can, then Sibasi uko to pekeako. You know, instead of going to another human being to give them pressure mm. for something that you can give yourself, then just leave and... Do it for yourself or get someone who can give that to you. Can you be with a guy who wants money from you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. Because Th Is that relationship one thing, dead or an arrival? It's, it's tricky. Because I feel like, this is my perception, the minute guys feel like they can live off you as a woman, that's it. They will never do anything to provide or take care of you. It's going to be on you. And I don't think long term, I'd like to be in a situation where I am the breadwinner in the whole family. Because what if we get married? We have kids involved. Now I have to pay rent, I have to pay fees, I have to do this, that, and take care of myself at the same time. So personally, I don't think I would be in a situation like that. Because mm. I like a man to provide. Mm. And the way I, I, I'm very sad about the way you guys are saying she will go to get another man to provide for her. Can mm. ladies not pro Who have you been meeting? Because ladies can't provide for themselves. For me to look like this, I have invested in... No! Ram, please get to 2022. I think it is a very small percentage. No, let me tell you, women these days are woke. Women understand that if you do not give yourself the things that you want, mm -hmm. you will not get them unless you're sexually exploited or you're willing to lower your morals. Women are working, women are billionaires, That's millionaires, yeah, working harder than men mm -hmm. because we want to give ourselves the things that we want. I don't want to sit around the house waiting for a man to pay for my manicure and pedicure. What if you take three weeks, I love I'm looking crusty in the house. Mm -hmm. Why would I torment myself like that? I will work to give myself what I want and when I get someone, they should come in and see the standard that I've set by taking mm -hmm. care of myself. If they cannot get to that standard, then I'm sorry, but you have to go. <laughs> if you can, then... That even inspires a man to do more for you. They will want to go above and beyond because they know the basics you can provide yourself. Let's take a break. Mm. Tarudi. <laughs> when we'll be back, we'll take a look at more scenarios. What can you do when you are trying to salvage your relationship? Now, after this break, I want you guys to answer this particular question. When someone is in a relationship and they break up because because his or her ex came back into your life, into their life. Mm -hmm. I laugh now, now you are, she's saying that she's confused. The X factor is coming back. What do you do? Can, can that relationship be salvaged? We'll talk about that and much more. Keep talking to us. That's like as always is Power Talk Show. Let's take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is Power Talk. Why two five four?
margin. Kupata mafuta kupanda. Thank you so much for sticking with us. My name is Ram Maguko if at all you're just joining us and this is Power Talk. It's a pleasure being with you today. And of course, we are back with this conversation. Today we are talking about matters concerning uh, your relationship. Can a relationship be salvaged? That is the discussion that we are having today. And uh, Timothy, I don't know if you're ready with the comments. You can bring them up on my big screen here uh, uh, in a bit. Once uh, we, we shall be able to get them, we are going to um, uh, uh, you know, bring them up because uh, today I have a big screen here and we shall be able to read uh, those comments in a bit. But before that, make sure that you send in your comments. Head over to our Facebook page. I can see so many uh, comments here on our page. That's at Y254. And once you get there, make sure that you do me one thing. Like the page. Follow the page. Facebook, Y254. Instagram, at Y254 underscore channel. Twitter, at Y254. And of course, subscribe even to our YouTube channels, channel where our interviews are. And of course, uh, this is uh, the discussion that we are having today. I am with Eric and uh, Cheryl in this uh, particular uh, uh, segment. Before we go to check what you to check what you people are saying on our social media handles uh, we were talking about matters concerning money finances i want us to move to the next thing and in this part let's talk about a relationship where the problem is the parent when their parent does not want you can a relationship like that be salvaged? You're dating a guy, his parents don't want you. You're dating a lady, the, her parents don't want you. What did you do, Eric? Let me start with you. Well, that is an, an, a situation that a lot of people have found themselves in. Yes. Maybe the issue is the tribe. Maybe I don't know their family were which doctors ago or years ago. <laughs> I don't know their families. Do they used to do what? But that one, I think that if both of you truly, truly commit and agree, I think that one you have a chance of salvaging that relationship. Mm. I think even you have a chance of even living together, actually. If, if who and who agrees? The, the, the lady and the gent. About how do you, how, how do you salvage that? How, how do you help that? You know, I, I, I will come and say, mm. my parents don't, don't want you because blah 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 abcd mm. but according to me me who is in the relationship with you i don't have a problem i don't see a problem mm. you're the person actually i want to to be with mm. and on the other hand she understands me that i am not the issue it is my parents who are the issue if you can manage to get that mutual understanding between both of you i think you can salvage it you can be able to proceed with that relationship. you proceed without your parents approval Yes, I, I don't know. When they were meeting each other, they did not even ask me. When your parents were meeting each other, they, they, did, they didn't ask me. So why, why, did they, why should they ask me about my relationship? Okay, I know I was not born, but anyway, they did not, they did not ask me. They didn't have your consent. Yeah, they didn't have my consent. Okay, I agree with him. Because it depends on why are the parents not in agreement with the relationship. Is it something that's superficial, like the mm. tribe you come from, the color of your skin, the piercings on your on your ears. Mm. If it's something that's superficial that you, you feel like it will not affect you or it has not been affecting you, that's something that you can move past because you're getting married to this person. It's not your parents. You'll spend the rest of your life and form a family with a specific person. So when you bring in your, your, your parents' opinions, Whoever they want for you may not be who you want for yourself, may not be the best person for you because you know what's best for yourself. But then there's some situations where there's this thing that parents always know best. A parent will tell you, this friend, I don't like them, and eventually you may not agree, but then you come to see it. You know, they, they, they tell you that, you know, I've lived longer, yeah. I know these things. Yeah, there are situations where morally or who you are as an individual, they feel like this person long term will not be beneficial to you mm. maybe they will derail you from your path or maybe they're going to lead you to do things that they know will affect you long term mm. Mm. if it's a situation like that then maybe you can consider and listen and observe 
but then ultimately it's about you. What do you feel like is the right thing to do? It's not about your mom, your dad, your aunts, your uncles, whoever. That's just, they're giving an opinion. Because the situations where people are from different religions, like Christian and Islam, mm. and then the parents say, I do not want you to get married to this person mm. because they're from a different religion. Mm. That should not dictate who you're with because those are just superficial things. You can get past that and you can form a relationship. But if it's something about core values and an individual, what the character is, and if your parents advise you against it because they feel like it will affect you long term, then consider that. Consider that. Yeah. I think, wow. Yeah, I wow. think I think wow. I think what what a parent tells you, uh -huh. you should not just dismiss it anyway, mm. but you should think, go through it again and again. And if you see that it's not something that will surely affect you, then I think you can proceed with the relationship. Mm. Yes. Or do you think about having a discussion with your parents and agreeing on what their problem could be? That I think that is part of going through yeah. whatever their parents are telling you. Mm. Uh, but I think it is still... No, no, the discussion whereby now uh -huh. you, you're saying, uh -huh. now that you don't want this person, Misawa, uh -huh. what, which, which kind of person do you want me to have? Of course, every parent everywhere has an idea mm. of yeah. the, the partner he or she would like to have the son or the daughter be in. But uh, I think that's why I, I said if a parents tell you something, don't just dismiss it, but still go through it as a person. Mm. Yes. Think about it as a person and now decide. Ah. Because yeah. uh, like now I know of a, of a lady in Tanzania, she's German. Mm. She's mm. German. She mm. came... She came uh, as a tourist in, in Tanzania, fell in love with the Maasai culture mm. and did not go back. She looked for a Maasai guy and they got married. Now in that scenario, there were actually issues from both sides. Mm. Both parents? Yes, because now the Maasai, they, they, you, they ask you, you're bringing a white girl, she, will she be able even to, to adopt our, our, our customs? Milk a cow? Yes, is that even possible? People on the other side, on the other side, will end up with you see? But they looked into it and they, so both of them, mm. we can work through this out. Now that lady is happily married. Mm. She tried as, as much as she can to conform with the traditions. This guy also understood her. He does not uh, demand everything else like, like, like the, the, the Maasai ladies used to do. Mm. She does not wear those, 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 those shukas, but she, she does milk the cows. Mm. Yeah. She assists in, in, in making the houses. And, it, and I think they are, they are living a happy life. This okay. guy also yeah. agreed, I, okay. can also, I can only have one wife. I think they, they but I think uh, it's doable. It's doable. It it's, it's, it's that one, you, you can, it has some rate of survival. Mm. It I is. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. These are just some of the issues that I know some of us are, 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 are facing where you're wondering, can you salvage your relationship? Now let's go to Facebook. Timothy, bring them up to honor what uh, people are saying. You can bring them up on my big screen here uh, to honor what people are saying on our social media platforms. Remember, the uh, Facebook platform is still on. I'm seeing Prince. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. that is uh, Peter Prince, Pale. He's saying, good morning. Um, I, I, I am Peter from Mombasa. Hi, Peter. And so, yeah, they can, depending on how lo locative the relationship is. I think you, may, you said lucrative, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Mm. Isaac Nalianya. Sama, good morning. I'm Isaac from Butera. Good morning, Isaac. And Sama, yes, a relationship can be salvaged by one, taking full responsibility when you are at fault. Two, give your partner time to earn your trust back. Three, try to visit every time and don't let the world revolve over your or around your partner. Do San Cruz and Sama. Kitu kama hiyo, can a relationship be salvaged? Kitu kama hiyo. Na wana hapa kuna kevo wa Katanza Lion. Nasama tune in from county number, zero, number 015 to county number 15. Asana, asana. The Eric and Josh. Nasama, yes it can. If the two partners are not cheating, if they are truly uh, trustful, honest and respectful, secondly a man should never or ever think of kneeling to a girl since as a man <laughs> you are the provider. Tune in from Olkalao. This guy's been paying attention to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Erika. And I said, my man should never kneel. or even, even, Don't even think of it. <laughs> don't. But Sherry, I said, it's sweet if a man kneels for you, isn't it? 
you need to propose that's what i said so you should simon blessing destiny and some uh, uh, hi simon and some ram relationships can only be maintained through trust if the trust is broken it is like a glass you cannot regain it back to the original state asiye kupenda achana naye na anaye kupenda pendana naye mtumishi wa Mungu mtume Simon watching from Laikipia County asante sana kupale nyanyuki town mwisho wa reli gotea watu huko Simon it is aguko not uh, not the remove the n by brother ah yeah. relationships can only be maintained through trust and and um, i want to do, do, do you have another nini Timothy before i, I ask this question wa oh, comments amini leo jango asaba good morning can only be saved from ending by the inner core Arif's friends. exactly. Ask me why. Tell us Brian, how can a relationship be salvaged? Tell us. Feminist Mbone Sama good morning tuned in from Gong asante sana this is uh, twitter let's go to twitter anasema this is dani at uh, nelly kinsley anasema it cannot be saved wow it cannot be saved pole sana now i want us to touch on uh, on, on this uh, keep talking to us okay keep talking to us let us know where you're watching us from and of course uh, 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 tell us what you think about the issues that we are discussing i'm also seeing people sending me some comments peer up across simu yangu head over to our facebook page and uh, keep the social media handles active we value your feedback can a relationship be salvaged now <laughs> let's talk about the ex can a relationship where the ex keep on keeps on coming back be saved sheriff I think it can but it needs to depend on your partner oh. or the partner whose ex come keeps coming in mm. cuz I can be with a guy who is genuinely good and maybe the ex realized that after they left so she keeps trying to come back because she knows that she lost someone who's good mm -hmm. if I let something like that affect me and it's coming from from her end alone mm -hmm. instead of my partner then I've really lost on an opportunity So first is my partner engaging mm -hmm. is my partner entertaining the ex or mm -hmm. what is the response towards the ex Okay yeah. okay so it depends on your partner It depends oh, on right. my partner Eric? Yeah I do agree <coughs> that it depends it, it depends because you know the problem with an ex is it it's someone they had a connection mm. Yeah it's someone they shared feelings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the most dangerous Uh, persons to that relationship so yeah. when you are dealing with such an individual do you think your relationship stands a chance against your partner's ex as she said it, it depends with, with the lady now ah. mm -hmm. what is she doing about it because especially for us men especially after we lose a good lady we tend to go back we tend to try to win her back and most of these times they have even moved on to another relationship but you still don't want to accept the fact that i lost someone who was very good we tend to keep going back mm. yeah. but now is the lady what, what is she doing about it yes is she reciprocating if she is reciprocating then i think there is no chance yeah i think that is one of the the, the, the biggest red flags that you can have could if it be that, she that is, you are the problem that you are making them go back to your ex could you be the problem i don't what are they looking for outside there that you cannot provide if she's reciprocating then that means there's something maybe she's missing mm -hmm. something that I, she used to get that she's not getting or she's comparing yeah. well, she's okay. comparing you know, between me mm. to okay. the ex yeah and i think the best thing to do is just leave them because it will keep yeah. on hurting you that's true they were they were there before even you you came into the picture mm. so if completely you can see that there's some form of reciprocation from your partner yeah. i think the best thing is just to leave. just take a bow and leave yeah. take a bow and leave take a bow mm. and leave because mm. if it's your partner who's actively seeking the ex 
there's unfinished business between them. Mm -hmm. Let them finish that business and yeah. you walk away. And if, if the ex is seeking your partner. If it's the ex who's seeking your partner and your partner is saying no and not reciprocating, there's a chance. She's mm -hmm. done or he's done, but then the ex is not done. So that's the ex's problem. It's mm. not your partner. Mm. So you should not feel insecure because this person is coming back. If your partner is actively telling you that I'm not interested, I've cut all ties, I'm blocking him, I'm okay. not keeping in touch. All right. Let's move on. I'm shifting gears. Mm -hmm. Let's go to social media and talk about online dating. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you break up with someone that you met online, can that be saved? I feel like all relationships depend, quite honestly. Because mm. the people who've met online and they've successfully had marriages and mm. lived together for 10 years. And then the people who've met online and they didn't get through the first date. Mm. So it depends on your relationship. What, what foundation did you form? What bond do you have? Online. Yeah. Because eh, I've, I've seen situations where people got married and they met during COVID online because there wasn't mm. any physical meeting. Mm. But then... If you meet people online and then it's just dangerous because it's 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 a bit tricky. You never mm. know what to expect when you're dating online. Mm. So what is your relationship? What mm. have you and this person formed in the period that you're uh, together? Have you guys ever tried dating online? Online dating? I have. You have. <laughs> yes. Eddie? No. You <laughs> have <laughs> And I, I don't think I can. I don't know. You can't. <laughs> I mean online it, I think it is one of the biggest risks that a person yeah. takes in life. Because I've seen men dating ladies online, and then you only come to find out that it's your fellow man on the other side. <laughs> that is one of it the happens. biggest risks that I think ah, I cannot. <laughs> and also, uh, also for a person like me, I think I like seeing my partner often. Yeah. I like being able to, 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 to meet with her, mm. to be with her physically. Like, the way, you know, we're holding a conversation. We can go out, we can do something. I think I l that is something that I, I really consider. Yeah. Mm. Even even online, on, on, I mean online dating, people even are unable to continue with long distance. Yeah. You are here, she's in Eldoret. There are a lot of issues. It is mm. quite a risk. Yeah. So personally for me, it is not something I would even consider trying. So long mm. distance relationships, when you are having a quarrel, cannot be salvaged. Online dating, when you're having a quarrel, cannot be salvaged, according to the book of Eric Jorobi. Well, I think it also depends with whatever made you. What, what are you quarreling about? Mm. What are you quarreling about, you know? Mm. Because it is, some, if it, it is if it, the level of the issue. Because it is, if it is, uh, sorry, if it, if it is the long distance and, and you are quarreling about someone who is cheating, mm. then you see the, the, the chances of salvaging reduce as, as you go mm. by, as you go yeah. by. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if it is something that is, that is petty, Mm. Then that that I think you can you can sort out and and continue. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, should people maintain online rela online dating I, I, in your, in your experience? Would you say that uh, it's it's okay for for a lady to just uh, date online and uh, try their luck and see what you can save there? I think you have to be cautious because, like he's saying, there are people who are just scammers online. There are people who are just catfishing online you have to be extremely cautious but i wouldn't entirely dismiss it because the truth is maybe your intention is not to get married to someone within the country maybe you're seeking someone who's outside and the only way for you to get this is through online dating because you cannot fly out and meet this person mm. so i wouldn't discourage it but i'd, I'd say be cautious, be extremely cautious, because there's so many things and so many people who are exploiting the online dating platforms. Mm. So I don't dismiss it, because like I said, every relationship depends on the individuals who are in the relationship. Mm. So if you're willing to commit to this partner and you're willing to give it a chance, then see how it goes. If you see there's no chance of it surviving, then just let it go. Okay. Yeah. Now. A relationship where your partner blames you and not themselves for every problem you two face. Can mm. such a relationship be salvaged? Eric. I think <laughs> I think if Mimi Dionikona Makosa, Adi Wakatiya Mifanya Makosa, 
I think you have a, a person with a problem. <laughs> yes. I think you have a person with a psychological problem. You're a psycho. <laughs> it That's actually is. Psychological. I think yes. you have a person, a person who does not take blame, a person who believes that I cannot be the one who is on the wrong, mm. you have a psychological problem. Mm. I believe one of the, one of uh, your duty in a relationship is to make your partner feel comfortable. Mm. And if everything that goes wrong, it's all about me. You, you can never be wrong. Mm. Then I think, I, I don't think, there's no need. What's your name? Yeah. Me, me stress, my dear. You, you, you agree with that, Cheryl? I do, because mm. the way you're shocked, it is a psychological disorder. It's mm. called being narcissistic. Mm -hmm. If you keep projecting your, when you make makosa, but you don't want me to say that you make makosa, mm -hmm. or you'll turn it around and keep projecting, you're not taking accountability, which means long term you will never take accountability, especially if it happens often and mm. every single time. Mm. This person will never acknowledge that I have made a mistake and I'm willing to change. All they right. will keep gaslighting you into thinking, mm -hmm. ni wewe. Right. so please leave. Oh, and also quickly move something else. When trust is broken, can you save a relationship where trust is broken? It is quite hard. I think that is one of yeah. the hardest things a person can do. You know, somebody just commented, it's it's mm. like a glass. You know, once you, even if you break a glass, even if you will try to use glue and whatever and whatever, mm. it, it cannot come broken. back. It cannot come back to whatever it was. Yeah. But 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 there's someone who gave me this analogy and and it made sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. There was a time in our church that the not is it in the mm. the podiums they're always made of glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it gets broken today, they can fix it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is glass. It is. Sindhya? Mm. I want to give you actually... So, so if, 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 if you compare that, if you say that when a glass is broken, it can never be fixed. Well, well, how, how, that kind how, of glass? How, 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 if that one can be fixed, so how, will, how will they fix it? Let me, let me explain how it can be fixed. Mm -hmm. I believe trust can be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. It's very hard, it will take time, but it can be. The Japanese have this technique where they use another metal or like gold or something to mm. fix broken glasses mm. and marble mm -hmm. and the product is even more beautiful afterwards mm. so in my opinion if it's broken it's going to be very very hard to fix it's going sure. to take a lot of time it's going to be tedious but it can be fixed and it will be beautiful after it will even be more stronger after and also yeah. i think if the partner who broke your trust goes an extra mile, even to yeah. make sure that you're comfortable, help you even rebuild that trust. Yeah. I think it is quite hard, but I think it, 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 you live with the scar. Even if you yeah. rebuild it, you'll always have a scar. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, life is, is about scars. So I think it, mm. it can, especially if the partner involves himself or herself to make sure that I made a mistake, I broke a trust, now I am going to do everything in my power to mm. make sure that his, trust, his or her trust is, is rebuilt again. Yes. Mm. I believe mm. it's doable. Moving on, yes. quickly, something else. When uh, you are in a relationship where you feel like your partner is ever busy, can you save it? Why? Ever busy. No. No time for you. Eric, you mentioned <laughs> that you, 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 you love a relationship where you meet and you talk. Okay. She, I'm going for, for a meeting, I'm going for a conference, I'm having blah, 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 X, Y, Z. She mm -mm. is busy. If for a lady, yeah. he tells you that, you know what, I'm going for this trip, I'm going to this place, he is ever busy. Can such a relationship be saved? No. I be People be. make time for people who are special to them. Yes. So even if, you know, there, there are people, there are people who work, who have, who have very tedious work that you are working for long hours, you are, you are, you are traveling a lot, mm -hmm. yeah. but they make an effort. They yeah. make an effort to meet or to see you. Mm. They will fix you. They so will, they will fix you. So akuna kitu kama kwa busy. Kama una too busy. Kama mtu anakupenda, they the emotions themselves. Mm. Yeah. They they can akuna venye unaweza kuwa too busy. So you cannot save such a relationship. Most you probably bado yeah. unapataga hiyo time ako busy. Others are even with other people. Mm. Kuna mwenye anapewa time yenyewe upewe. Mm. That's true. I agree with what he's saying because when you love someone, you genuinely want to be with them all the time. You want to talk to them all the time. You want to feel their presence around you all the time. Mm -hmm. So if you're not willing to make time for someone who you claim to be in love with, that's, you, you can't save that at all. Just leave. 
because even CEOs who have round the clock schedules that are booked all the time, they make time for the people they love. So if someone is not willing to make time for you, even 30 minutes mm. out of the busy schedule, mm. then that person truly does not value you and does not want to be with you. It's so just maybe circumstances. I genuinely, I genuinely, genuinely, I am busy. So anyone who doesn't make time for you, doesn't love you. They should at least try. They should try. Just try. Mm. And you know, even if you're busy, you can keep in touch. You can text. You can video call. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing any of that, you're just, I'm busy. I can't of. talk. Then you keep your phone away the whole day. I've not talked to you. Then the next day, that's when you're commenting or even responding to me. Then you did not want to make time for me because you, you can't get five minutes out of your busy schedule mm. to even grab a bite. All right. All right. Quickly, yeah. quickly. Something, <laughs> one last thing. Uh, I have so many examples in my head. <laughs> when you are in a relationship where you keep on getting beaten black and blue, where? black and white, can you save it? No. And, and in this case, I want to be very, very particular because um, there are also men who get whooped. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Eric? I don't see why you should stay in a relationship that, is, uh, that has violence. Yeah. We have seen, especially of late, we have seen what violence is doing to people. People are even killing each other because of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even and also, as, uh, according to what I believe, if you love someone... Even if she has made a big mistake, I don't see how you'll get yourself to that level of, of being of being violent. People get yeah. angry, you know, throw ads. You can you can, mm -hmm. you, can mm -hmm. you can leave, I think. Mm -hmm. You leave. Yes. Can you can, you can, you can, you can, I'd no. I'd rather you leave and live forever. Yeah. Than, uh, than, than, than staying in a place. Mm. Yeah. Because I believe when, when a person is violent to you, I think that is the lowest point they can get off. There's nothing they cannot do to you now. Yeah. If, if it's being violent, then that is the lowest level of, of a place that someone can place you. Mm. 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 Yeah. So mm. I beat you because I love you. Mm -hmm. ah. That's <laughs> manipulation. Mm. Mm -mm. Yes. I think you should live to save your life, the way he's saying. Mm. Live so that you can live forever. Because the minute someone gets physically violent with you the first time, they will do it again and again and again. And they'll keep justifying it by, I was mad, you made me mad, I did this because I love you. Eventually they'll beat you to a point where you, you die, they hurt you. So why should you stay? Live. Mm. You have yeah. to save your life and mm. save yourself, mm. regardless of the situation. Wow. Let's go to Facebook. Um, time is on our side. I want us to go to Facebook. Uh, Timothy, you can bring them up. We see what people are saying on our Facebook platform. This is Eric and Josh. And I say, my, uh, yes, our relationship can be saved. Hi, Eric. And I say, my, if the two partners are not cheating, Ati, yes, it can. If the two partners are not cheating, if they are trust honest, I think they may say, isn't it? I say, Vanessa, Vanessa, and I say, my, <laughs> that guy has an extremely dangerous experience. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, when I saw you have experience, you have to keep it here. You have to keep it here. But in Missouri, it makes you go. Wanjiku, when I saw you, if a man cheats on you once and you forgive him, he's going to cheat on you again. If a man raises his hands on you once and you forgive him, he's going to do it again. Let's finish with a quote. This is by... Tony Gaskins, he said this, that you can't save a relationship unless both people are equally invested. It takes a joint effort to make it work. One person trying will never be enough. Tell us what you think about this. That brings us to the end of this discussion. Thanks so much, Eric. Thanks so much, uh, uh, Cheryl, for being part of this discussion. And Thank thanks you. so much to everybody that ensured this show was a success. My name is Ram Aguko, and this is power talk.